working as an ESL student in Canada. In this video update, we will we discuss about the work eligibility of an ESL student in Canada. Canada is an exceptional country for studying the English language. Countless international students opt for Canada for this purpose. Obviously, they may appear at a class and depart from Canada. On the other hand, some of them use ESL training to carry on with their studies in Canada. Please support us. Press the subscribe button now and hit the bell icon to get the notification of our video updates. Did you know? You can help us bring you the best, up-to-date, and most reliable information from Immigration Refugees and Citizenship Canada by supporting us on Patreon.com with just £1 a month, link mentioned below. Nevertheless, you could counterbalance some of your expenditures if you could work while studying. If you plan to appear at an ESL course for less than six months, you are not obligated to attain a study permit. Consequently, all you are required to do is enroll in the program, travel to Canada, and appear at the course. To travel to Canada, you are required to have an appropriate authorization. United States nationals may travel to Canada without a visa or electronic travel authorization if they are permissible. If you are not required a visa to Canada, you need an electronic travel authorization. If you require a visa, then you need to apply for a temporary resident visa. Of course, you need to indicate your intention when you are applying for an electronic travel authorization or a temporary resident visa. Since an electronic travel authorization is just a security clearance, you will not get a visa sticker. On the other hand, if you get a temporary resident visa counterfoil, the category code will be SX1. The identification denotes that you can study in Canada without a study permit. Obviously, only if the duration of your studies is under six months. Usually, the international ESL students who take standalone ESL courses may not work in Canada. On the other hand, you may work if you get a work permit or if your work is excused from a work permit. Are international ESL students allowed to work if they attain a study permit? If international ESL students are holding a study permit, they can work if they fulfill the following obligations which are extracted from subsection 186F of Immigration and Refugee Protection Regulations. A foreign national may seek employment in Canada without a work permit if they are a full-time student on the campus of the university or college at which they are a full-time student or the phase for which they possess a study permit to study at that university or college. This prerequisite applies to ESL students who possess a study permit. Therefore, you may work on the campus of the university or college only. Then again, if you later enter a regular program, you may work off campus too. Regrettably, high school international students are not allowed to work in Canada. This is the end of today's update. Don't forget to comment below and share your thoughts with us. Thanks for watching today's video.